Potential deployment of French troops to Ukraine may be of benefit to Russia. Medvedev, eliminating French military personnel that may appear in Ukraine would be a critical but not particularly difficult mission for the Russian armed forces, but for Paris, such a humiliating defeat of its legions would be tantamount to being guillotined, Russian Security Council Deputy Chairman Dmitry Medvedev said. Actually, for the success of our cause, it would be nice if the restless French dispatched a couple of regiments to Banderaland. It would be very problematic to hide such a number of servicemen, so systematically eliminating them would not be the most difficult task, but surely the most important one. But just think of the beneficial knock-on effect. He wrote on his Telegram channel, as Medvedev noted, with so many coffins to be delivered to France from a foreign country, it would be impossible to hide the mass deaths of professional soldiers. There will be no chance of getting away with various lame excuses and speculations that mercenaries choose their own fate and that they are risking their lives at their own discretion. He warned the deputy head of the Russian Security Council pointed out that such military personnel would become full-fledged combatants as part of an interventionist contingent and so their destruction would be a priority and a matter of honour for the Russian armed forces. As for the Gallic roosters in the French leadership, it would be tantamount to being guillotined. They would be torn to pieces both by the enraged relatives and angry members of the opposition who have been assured all along that France is not at war with Russia. Also, it would be a good lesson for other rambunctious fools in Europe, Medvedev predicted. He suggested that the immortal lines of 19th century classic Russian writer Alexander Pushkin will prove their timeless relevance once again. Then send your numbers without number, your maddened sons, your goaded slaves. In Russia's plains there's room to slumber, and well, they'll know their brethren's graves. On March the 19th, Russian Foreign Intelligence Service Director Sergei Narishkin said that France was already preparing a military contingent to be sent to Ukraine, which would initially amount to about 2,000 soldiers. Putin needs refineries in Navopolatsk and Mazir of Belarus. Ukrainian drones may fly there. A tenth of fuel production in the Russian Federation has been paralyzed as a result of Ukrainian attacks. This is a serious blow to the Russian economy. The Charter 97 website spoke about this with Ukrainian military political observer of the information resistance group Alexander Kovalenko. Firstly, the shocks affected the export of Russian petroleum products, which is the main item in filling the Russian budget. Secondly, internal economic destabilization occurred, which is already manifesting itself very eloquently. It affected domestic civilian and commercial consumers. Gasoline prices are rising, queues are lining up for it in a number of settlements and in some places there is a shortage, Kovalenko added. However, the Russian authorities do not pay much attention to civilians, but if the commercial component begins to suffer, then this again is an impact on the budget that finances the war against Ukraine. Thirdly, a blow was also struck to the supply of fuel and lubricants to the Russian occupation forces. Here I will immediately emphasize that Putin will sacrifice anything. Civilians, commerce, he may not even fill ambulances, but everything will be sent to war. Damaged plants. Refinery stations and transport hubs currently do not provide the full volume of petroleum products processing as well as their transit. The length of delivery of fuels and lubricants increases. The Russian occupying forces are beginning to feel a progressive deficit, but the first signs are already happening against the backdrop of a collapse in exports and a deficit for domestic consumers. Such attacks are effective, they will continue, if only for the reason that the restoration of any of these oil refineries in itself is unacceptable. In addition, there are several refineries left in the near-affected area that should be taken out of operation, the expert said. Perhaps Russia will use the Belarusian oil refineries in Mazir and Navapolatsk for its needs. Is there a possibility that some unidentified UAV will fly to these objects? According to the expert, it is possible that Putin will use them, but they will not be able to compensate for the dozens of Russian refineries that have failed or are temporarily out of order. 
This will be some kind of situational compensation that will not have a critical impact on the resumption of supply to the domestic consumer in the Russian Federation or the occupying army. On the other hand, if this facility takes part in this kind of support and supply, then who knows? In Belarus, after all, there are partisans who act in the interests of the Belarusian people and not the Lukashenko regime. It is possible that something could happen there too, Kovalenko said.